is Mindtree. Krishna Kumar Natarajan, CEO of Mindtree, joins in to talk about his numbers. Uh, Mr. Natarajan, morning. Uh, your fourth quarter numbers were a bit tepid, so the market was quite interested uh, to see your full year, uh, next year guidance of 78 to 11.5% growth. What have you factored in in giving that growth guidance? Uh, see, clearly, within as uh, the way in which we are sensing the market uh, is that we have had a decrease in terms of volumes in Q3 and Q4, but we are just seeing the first signs of some of the demand revival happening within customers with whom we work as well as new opportunities in the market. Um, so the way in which we sense this, yes, uh, the, uh, there could be decrease in terms of volumes in quarter one, but uh, subsequent to that, starting from Q2 onwards, uh, we certainly anticipate growth back in volumes. Uh, and the second half of the year, we certainly expect uh, a growth which would lead us on to the guidance of 290 to 300 million, which we have uh, indicated. Mr. Natarajan, morning. In the last yes, financial year, though, uh, you did have to revise your guidance, and this time round as well. I mean, for FY09, you've missed your profit guidance. Are you completely confident at this point that you will meet both the sales and profit guidance that you've set out for FY10? Uh, Mithali, again, just to c correct that, I think uh, we gave the FY09 revised profit guidance on the dollar number of 48.5, and uh, the dollar uh, went up to about 51. So if you look at a constant currency basis of 48.5, we have met both the revenue as well as uh, profit guidance uh, which we gave. So, and some of the things which I think uh, in terms of the financial numbers of FI09, which I'd like to sort of stress, is clearly if you look at the growth numbers we've delivered, I think uh, we have delivered uh, industry growth uh, uh, numbers in terms of growth, 21% uh, on a standalone basis and 46% on a consolidated basis in dollar terms. Uh, the other uh, key thing, in, if you look at the Q4 results, there has been a decline of revenues of 9%, but uh, if you really sort of split that across volume and pricing, I think we've had a 7.3% decline on volume terms, but just 1.6% on pricing, of which 0.3% was due to cross-currency between Euro, GPB, and the SEC. So that number of 1.3% is probably amongst the lowest uh, in terms of pricing decline, uh, which it had. Um, the third aspect which I'd certainly like to stress is uh, I think there was some concern on the aspects of acquisition on the financial parameters. But if you look at standalone, the results which Aztecsoft has delivered, it's had a dollar growth of 13.6%. Q4, the PBT to sales is 19.1%, which is probably the highest in the last 12 quarters which uh, they've delivered. And the deal has added about uh, 5.9 rupees to our EPS in FI09. So fundamentally, both from a strategy, synergy, as well as financial performance, uh, the integration has been very, very positive. Mm. Uh, you had 200 crores plus of forex losses last year, uh, Mr. Natarajan. Is that a thing of the past? That certainly is a thing of the past. Uh, because I think, uh, by and large, all the mark-to-market uh, implications uh, we sort of uh, taken a majority of the hit last year. We do have something going forward, which is one reason which you'll find certainly there's a smart improvement in terms of the guidance which have given for uh, FY010. So for this 49 to 51 rupees per share that you're guiding for FY10 in terms of an EPS, uh, Mr. Natarajan, how much is the contribution of Aztec? Uh, see, Aztec, uh, uh, they really don't have much of the hedges going forward. There'll be a three-month sort of hedges. Uh, and again, I think it's difficult to compare Aztec because what you've done in the revised integrated structure is we have the product engineering business where the outsourced product development business of Aztec Soft will get integrated. And we have the independent testing business uh, where the testing revenues of Aztec Soft uh, will sort of... Uh, uh, get integrated, but the whole guidance is based on a dollar uh, assumption of 51.4. Thanks, Mr. Natarajan. Good luck for next year. That's Mindtree telling us that this quarter wasn't good, but they're confident of doing much better in fiscal year 2010. 10% kind of revenue growth, and of course, the EPS will leap because forex losses will not be there next year. That's the reason the stock is up 7% this morning at 270.